Tonight, something moves beneath Naples, not slowly, not quietly. The ground is rising. It rises faster than ever before in recorded history. Doors no longer close, walls bend, roads ripple like frozen waves. Scientists predicted steady inflation, but not this, not the sudden change in the curve, not the collapse of their models. Beneath Campi Flegre, pressure is building. The magma system is changing shape. And for the first time, researchers warn something new. We may be watching a volcanic giant cross a line, a line that cannot be uncrossed. This is an investigation. We will uncover what this acceleration really means. For science, for Italy, for the half million people living in the caldera's shadow. Uh, let's start with the facts. The ground has been rising since 2005, slowly at first, then faster, then faster still. But recently, you know, the curve bent upward sharply. This is not normal inflation. This is acceleration. What does that mean? Think of it this way. Inflation means pressure is growing. The ground goes up. Acceleration means the pressure is growing faster. The ground goes up faster. Scientists fear this pattern. They call it a second derivative signal. Why? Because it often comes before major eruptions. The land is not just rising. It is rising faster and faster. And that changes everything. This has happened before, but not like this. In 1970, the ground rose. People evacuated, but no eruption came. In 1983, it happened again. 80,000 people left their homes. Still no eruption. Both times the inflation was steady, predictable, linear. Today is different. Today's inflation is jagged, non-linear, rising at speeds that break the old patterns. Something fundamental has changed. Scientists look at their graphs. They see curves they did not expect. They see acceleration, and acceleration is the language of instability. Think about Pozzuoli, the city at the center of this caldera. Roads crack like spider webs, buildings tilt, measurement poles rise millimeter by millimeter. Every day the earth pushes higher. Every day the curve gets steeper. Why does this matter? Because in volcanology, small changes mean big things. A few extra millimeters per month might sound tiny. But beneath a supervolcano, tiny changes can mean everything. The pressure underground is immense. It pushes on the crust. The crust pushes back. But the crust is not infinite. It can only hold so much. And every uplift cycle weakens it. Think of it like bending a wire. Bend it once, it's fine. Bend it twice. It's weaker. Bend it a hundred times. It snaps. Campi Fligre has been bending for decades. The wire is getting weaker, and now the bending is speeding up. Scientists call this bradyseism. It means slow earthquake in Greek. But there is nothing slow about this anymore. The graphs show it clearly. The line that used to be flat is now a steep slope. The slope that used to be gentle is now sharp. This is not a drill. This is not a false alarm. This is real acceleration. And it raises one terrible question. What happens when the land refuses to stop rising? Scientists are worried. They look at the new data. They see something they did not expect. We have entered a regime we did not predict, one researcher says. Another adds, we are approaching mechanical failure. What does that mean? The caldera roof is thinner than it used to be. Weaker, more fractured. Every time the ground rises and falls, it leaves cracks behind, like stress fractures in bone, like fault lines in ice. The crust is breaking down. Let me explain what is happening underground. Imagine a massive dome made of rock, miles wide. Beneath it sits a pocket of magma, hot fluids, pressurized gas. The magma pushes up, the rock pushes down. For years, this battle stays balanced, but balance does not last forever. Every uplift cycle creates new cracks, new fractures, new weak points. The rock becomes porous, fragile. It can hold less pressure than before. Scientists call this structural weakening, and it is permanent. You cannot heal fractured rock miles underground. You cannot reverse the damage. Once the crust weakens, it stays weak. Here is the terrifying part. Campi Flegre's threshold is lower now than in the past. A threshold is a breaking point. The moment when pressure overcomes strength. In the 1980s, the threshold was high. The crust was strong. Today, the threshold is lower. The crust is weak. That means less pressure is needed to trigger failure. The system is fragile. Scientists have a name for this. 
They call it the Fragility Index. A system becomes easier to break over time. Campy Fligre is easier to break now than ever before. And the acceleration suggests the threshold may be close. Very close. Think about what acceleration means. Pressure is not just building. Pressure is building faster. The cracks are not just spreading, they are spreading faster. The magma is not just moving, it is moving faster. Everything is speeding up, and speed is dangerous. In volcanology, sudden changes kill people. Slow inflation gives warning. Fast inflation gives hours, minutes. Acceleration means time is running out. The crust can only bend so far. The fractures can only spread so wide. At some point, something breaks. That point is called the threshold, and we may be approaching it right now. Scientists study calderas around the world. They look for patterns. They find one terrible truth. Accelerated uplift appears before nearly every major eruption, not sometimes, nearly always. Acceleration is the signal, the warning, the sign that a volcano is preparing to blow. But here is the problem. We do not know exactly where the threshold is. We cannot measure it directly. We can only watch for the signs, and right now the signs are everywhere. The uplift is accelerating. The crust is fracturing. The system is destabilizing. We are watching a ticking clock, but we cannot see the numbers. We cannot hear the alarm. We can only watch the ground rise faster and faster and faster still. Scientists disagree about what comes next. Some think the system will stabilize. The pressure will release slowly. The ground will stop rising. Others think we are past the point of stabilization. They think the fractures have gone too far. They think the threshold is already behind us. They think the system is falling forward into instability, into eruption, into chaos. Nobody knows for sure, but everyone agrees on one thing. This acceleration matches patterns seen before explosive caldera eruptions elsewhere, and that terrifies them. Campi Flegre is not the first volcano to show acceleration. It is not the first to cross a threshold. History has seen this before, and history teaches us what comes next. Let me tell you about Rabul. It is a caldera in Papua New Guinea. In 1994, the ground began to rise slowly at first, then faster. The uplift spiked suddenly. Days later, the volcano exploded. Two peaks erupted at once. Ash buried the city. Thousands fled. The pattern was clear acceleration, then eruption. Now look at Sierra Negra, a volcano in the Galapagos Islands. In 2018, uplift began accelerating, non-linear, rapid, unexpected. Scientists watched the curve steepen. Then the ground fractured. Explosions ripped through the caldera floor. Lava fountains reached the sky. The pattern repeated. Acceleration, then eruption. One more example. Ka Lawia in Hawaii in 2018. Pressure built underground. The magma chamber inflated, cracks opened, fissures erupted. Lava poured out for months. The trigger was the same, pressure acceleration. The pattern holds true across the world. Acceleration precedes eruption, almost every time. And now Campi Flegre shows the same signs. But there is more history to consider. Go back to 1538. Campi Flegre erupted for the last time. It created a new mountain called Monte Nuovo. Before the eruption, the ground rose for weeks. The earth cracked open. Steam exploded from vents. People felt tremors day and night. Then, one morning, the mountain was born. Explosions shook the region. Ash fell for days. When it ended, a new volcanic cone stood where flat ground once was. That cone is still there today. Monte Nuovo, the newest mountain, and the last proof that Campi Flegre can erupt here is the connection. The same ground that rose in 1538 is rising again now. The same caldera, the same magma system, the same structural weaknesses, but this time it is rising faster, much faster. The curve in 1538 was steady. The curve today is exponential. What does that tell us? It tells us the system is more unstable now, more fractured, more fragile. It tells us the threshold is closer. But Campi Flegre has another problem, a problem that makes it unique. It has more people living inside it than any other caldera on Earth. 500,000 residents, they live in cities built on volcanic rock. They walk on ground that rises and falls. They sleep above a magma chamber. 
if this volcano erupts, it will not be like Rabaul. It will not be like Sierra Negra. It will not be like Kalawia. It will be worse, much worse, because half a million people cannot evacuate in hours. They cannot run when the ground starts shaking. They need days, weeks, maybe months. But acceleration does not give that kind of time. It gives warnings measured in days, sometimes hours. That is the nightmare scenario. That is what keeps scientists awake at night. And that is why this acceleration matters so much. We are watching a restless super volcano. We are watching historical patterns repeat. We are watching the signs converge, uplift, acceleration, structural weakening, historical precedent, global patterns, all pointing the same direction toward instability, toward eruption, toward disaster. The only question left is when, not if, when. The ground is not the only thing changing. Deep underground, something else is happening, something new, something alarming. Scientists use special tools to see inside the Earth. They call it seismic tomography. Think of it like an X-ray for volcanoes. The results are disturbing. Hotter zones are expanding. The deep magma pocket may be rising. The hydrothermal system is destabilizing all at once. Let me explain what this means. A hydrothermal system is like a plumbing network underground. Hot water, steam, gases, all moving through cracks in the rock. When the system is stable, everything flows smoothly. When it destabilizes, pressure builds, fluids get trapped, temperature rises, cracks widen. Right now, Campy Flegre's hydrothermal system is unstable, very unstable, but there is more. Gas emissions are spiking. Scientists measure the gases coming from the ground, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide. The ratio is changing. Why does that matter? Because new magma releases new gases. The changing ratio means fresh magma is degassing. Fresh magma means the system is activating, not just inflating, activating. At night, drones fly over the caldera. They capture footage of fumaroles, vents in the ground where gas escapes. Some glow faintly in the dark, hot, active, dangerous. This is not normal. This is escalation. Now add the earthquakes, not big quakes, small ones, thousands of them. They call them microquakes. High frequency quakes mean rock is fracturing. The crust is breaking apart. Low frequency tremors mean something else. Fluid movement, magma movement. Both types are happening now at the same time. This combination is dangerous. It means the system is fracturing and filling at once, breaking and pressurizing, cracking and heating. Scientists look at all this data together. The uplift acceleration, the hotter zones expanding, the changing gas ratios, the microquake swarms, and they realize something. This is not just uplift. This is not just heat. This is not just pressure. This is all of it at once. And it is accelerating. One researcher puts it simply. We are seeing something no model predicted. No model, no prediction, no precedent in the data. This is new territory, uncharted ground. The kind of situation that makes scientists nervous. Very nervous. Because when you leave the known patterns, anything can happen. The models were built on past behavior, but the volcano is not following past behavior anymore. It is doing something different, something unexpected, something potentially catastrophic. What could this acceleration trigger? There are two possible futures. First option, stabilization. The pressure releases slowly. Breeze or the ground stops rising. The system finds balance. This is rare, very rare but it can happen. Second option, progressive fracturing. The cracks spread, the pressure builds, the threshold breaks, and once it breaks, it cannot be reversed. The system falls into eruption. This is more common, much more common, and all the current signs point toward option two, not option one, option two, the dangerous one, the irreversible one. Think about what is happening right now under your feet. If you lived in Pozzuoli, you would feel it. The ground trembling, the walls cracking, the floor shifting, every day a little more, every week a little faster. And beneath it all, miles down, magma is stirring, heat is rising, pressure is building, fractures are spreading. The volcano is waking up, not slowly, not gently, rapidly, violently, unstoppably. And that brings us to the final question, the question everyone is asking, the question nobody wants to answer. 
What does this mean for the people living above? For Italy? For Europe? For the world? Let me show you what life is like in Pozzuoli today. A woman opens her front door. It scrapes against the frame. It did not do that last month. A man walks through his living room. The floor slopes now, downward. Toward the center of the caldera, a child asks her mother a question. Why does the ground shake at night? The mother has no answer. This is the human layer of volcanic acceleration, the part that does not fit in graphs or models, the part that keeps people awake. Homes are tilting, floors are cracking, roads are rippling, evacuation maps are being quietly updated, but nobody talks about them. Because talking about evacuation means admitting the danger, and admitting the danger means facing an impossible problem. How do you evacuate half a million people? Where do they go? How long do they stay? Who pays for it? And most importantly, when do you pull the trigger? Too early and you destroy the economy for nothing. Too late and people die. This is the government's dilemma. A terrible choice. A choice nobody wants to make. So officials stay quiet. They monitor the data. They update the plans. But they do not sound the alarm. Not yet. Maybe not until it is too late. Risk communication becomes a political burden, not just a scientific one, because panic is dangerous too. Half a million people in panic is a disaster all by itself. So the authorities walk a tightrope, inform, but do not scare, prepare, but do not evacuate. Watch, but do not act, and hope the volcano gives them time. But what if it does not? What if the acceleration continues? Let me paint the picture. Fractures open in the caldera floor. Steam explodes from the cracks. Phreatic blasts throw rock and ash into the air. The ground shakes harder. Buildings collapse. Roads become impassable. Evacuation becomes impossible. And then, in the worst case, the magma breaches the surface. A subplinian eruption begins. Ash columns reach the stratosphere. Pyroclastic flows race down the slopes. The caldera collapses inward. Everything within miles is destroyed. This is not fear-mongering. This is the historical record. This is what calderas do when they erupt, and Campi Flegre has done it before. It can do it again. The threshold is not a date on a calendar. It is not a single moment. It is a process. A momentum shift already in motion. Think of it like a boulder on a hill. At first it sits still, then it rocks slightly, then it tilts, then it rolls. And once it rolls, you cannot stop it. Campi Flegre is rocking right now. It is tilting. The question is whether it will roll. Scientists cannot tell you the exact moment. They cannot give you a date. But they can read the signs. And the signs are all pointing the same way. Toward instability. Toward eruption. Toward a point of no return. The Earth is speaking. Loudly. Clearly. Urgently. It speaks through rising ground through escaping gases, through fracturing rock, through accelerating curves. We are watching a volcano test the limits of its own stability. Whether it stabilizes or breaks depends on forces far beneath human reach. We cannot control the magma. We cannot stop the pressure. We cannot reverse the fractures. All we can do is watch and prepare and hope. But one truth remains. Acceleration is the language of a system in motion. And tonight, Campi Flegre is moving faster than ever before. The curve is steepening. The threshold is approaching. The point of no return may already be behind us. We do not know yet. We may not know until it is too late. But the Earth is giving us a warning, a clear warning, a final warning. The only question is whether we will listen, whether we will act, whether we will be ready, because ready or not, the Earth keeps moving. The pressure keeps building. The acceleration keeps climbing. And somewhere beneath Naples in the darkness miles below, a volcano is deciding its future and ours.